This is the HP Elite Book 840 G7 laptop, a slim and premium business laptop that came out five years ago. I've been using this guy for the past five days as my main device. If this laptop is on your radar, this video will help you decide if it truly worth your money or not. Let's get down to business. For context, the unit I got from Shop Inverse is the 14-inch with the 10th generation Intel Core i5 256GB SSD and 8GB RAM. The good guys over at Shop Inverse sent me this laptop for a review. This is in no way going to affect what I have to say or my experience with it so far. So, let's continue. The official price for this guy or this configuration is around 485,000 Naira, but right now, you can get it for just 385,000 Naira. That is literally 100,000 Naira discount. I will leave the shop inverse link in the description so you can get it there. You can also use my discount code bracket and you are going to get a little saving from it. I mean, you are going to get a little discount from it. So before we move over to the build quality, please note that the RAM and storage of this very laptop are upgradable. And yes, it comes with a little extra cost. If I were you, I would use that 100,000 naira discount to upgrade this guy to the next level. You can choose to upgrade it online when you are placing your order or you do it in person at their office if you prefer. Moving over to the unboxing, because this is a used laptop, you are not getting cartons and packs from it. You are only getting the laptop itself, a long charger for your laptop, for charging it up, a clean, customized shop inverse laptop bag, and the receipt. That is all. No carton or packing, just the basics. Moving over to the design and build quality department of this laptop, the HP Elite 840 G7 still looks and feels premium even in 2026. It comes in that clean silver finish with a slim profile, lightweight body, and a solid aluminum build that the Elite Book lineup is known for. The engines are firm and the keyboard is comfortable and responsive. The trackpad is smooth enough for everyday work. Overall, it is a laptop that feels durable something you can confidently use for office work, school, travel, or even as your daily work machine. Even though it is an older model, the design doesn't feel outdated at all. It gives you that professional look and reliable build quality HP Elite books are known for. I've just said it again. The Elite Book 840G7 comes with a 14-inch Full HD display and honestly, it still holds up well in 2026. It is bright, sharp and clear enough for everyday tasks like browsing, typing, watching videos and doing office work. It is not a color-accurate panel for professional video editing or graphic design, but for productivity work and general use, it performs perfectly fine. The viewing angles are good and the brightness is decent indoors. And overall, it delivers a reliable visual experience for a laptop in this class. Performance-wise, the HP Elite 840G7 laptop handles all the basic tasks very well in 2026. Browsing, typing, paperwork, YouTube, or light taxing no issue at all. The 10th gen Intel Core i5 inside this unit still has enough power for everyday productivity. It can also do light editing on CapCut for PC without issues at all. But once you start pushing it with heavy attacks, especially DaVinci Resolve, the limitations show. I have tried editing 4K footage and the playback wasn't smooth. It was manageable but not fluid. Even with 1080p playback, it was still better, but it is not buttery smooth. So this is where the 8GB RAM 
and the older Intel graphics start to hold back. If you plan on using this guy for content creation or heavy multitasking, I would suggest you upgrade to the 16 gig RAM or 32 gig RAM and also get a faster SSD, you know, and this will make a massive difference. But out of the box, this laptop is more suited for office work, school projects, light editing, multitasking at a moderate level. It performs well for productivity, but it is not a powerhouse for pro creators. If you are a beginner creator, um, you can use this, but make sure you upgrade it. In terms of battery life, the HP Elite Book 840G7 laptop actually did better than I expected in 2026. On light usage, things like browsing, watching YouTube videos, typing and replying messages or emails, and doing everyday tasks, I got around 6 hours before it needed a full recharge. But when you start moving into slightly heavier tasks like light editing or running apps that demand more power, you should expect around 5 hours or even little less depending on what you are doing. For my workflow, I don't use CapCut. I'm a DaVinci Resolve person. So uh, DaVinci was clearly too heavy for this laptop because I'm a content creator. But in terms of performance and battery drain, this guy did very well. So I was stuck with browsing and productivity work during the day. And for that, the battery life was decent. The HP Lightbook 840G7 laptop may be an older laptop, but in 2026, it's still of a solid value for the right kind of user. If your daily tasks are things like browsing, typing, online classes, office work, emails, spreadsheets, YouTube, and general multitasking, this laptop will serve you very, very well. It is also a great fit for students, um, office workers, online business owners, or anyone who wants a durable, professional-looking laptop without spending too much. The build quality is solid, and the display is good for productivity, and the battery life is surprisingly decent for light work. But if you are planning to do every video editing, graphic design, or running demanding creative software, this is not the machine for that, unless you upgrade the RAM and storage even at that, it will still match the newer creator focused laptop. So just add some money and upgrade to some creator focused laptop on Shop Inverse. Overall, this guy is a very good one. If you need a reliable laptop, a budget friendly laptop in 2026, the HP Elite Book 840G7 is still a smart buy, especially if you are getting it from Shop Inverse. Don't forget to use my discount code BRACKET to save you something on your purchase. Thanks for watching this video. And if you have any questions, please drop it down there in the comment section. I'll see you on the next one. Please stay safe. Bye for now. Peace.